Cheers. Cheers. To another edition of Road Trippin'. Uh, we got a lot to get to. Uh, and boy, do you guys have any clue. You don't. Um, so let's start with the news and notes first. Richard, I feel like you should give the news as we are back two weeks in a row. I know. Holy shit. I'm so proud <laughs> Holy shit. of what the latest is because some people have tuned in on our YouTube channel, of course. Okay. Um, recognize that we are, again, on Spectrum, on Yes, but starting next week. Oh, yeah. Starting next week, we'll be on Altitude. Then we'll be on Fox Sports Ohio. Um, and then we have a bunch of other regionals that we're actually working on. So we're trying to get it to you people. And yes, I said you people. Um, so we're trying to get it out to the masses. So it's growing. Every week we talk to you guys. Hopefully there's a few more uh, that uh, networks that will be expanded to. So we're excited about that. Yeah. So in the meantime, continue to uh, stay up to date with us. YouTube channel, Road Trippin', Road Trippin' Pod on Twitter, and then of course Road Trippin' on Instagram. Um, did you guys know, before we get into the latest with the NBA, that yesterday, when I say that, it would be June 10th, um, it was the four-year anniversary of what? Oh, uh, oh. Uh, when uh, Draymond didn't he net tap Richard, or uh, LeBron? No. And you saw me get in there, though. I thought I was, boom, you see me? Clear that. You thought you, you, Clear thought you were going to do something? No, no. I've never well, been. It was game four. And wasn't right? it game four? Yeah, but here's the thing. If you watch the video, if you notice how quickly Braun moved me out the way, I was trying to hold on to him. And he moved me like he went, whoop, <laughs> like a grown man. I was like, hey, yo, you can't, you got to act like I put up a little bit of resistance. You can't just move me so nonchalant. He just lifted you up and, and he lifted me you. up like a little baby. He was like chanting enough. And I was like, damn. Remember, Draymond Green is one flagrant foul and two technicals away from being suspended. Takes a little swing that misses after he objected to James stepping over him. The conversation continues, the pumping and shoving, and there the double foul call by Danny Crawford. Double foul does not result in any free throws. Obviously, each player picks up a personal. For Green, it's his third. Make that his fourth. And for James, it's his third. And let's see if they're going to give out any technicals as well. And that is, that's important from Golden State standpoint in Green and his technical foul total. James usually doesn't respond like that, especially if the ball is still in play. And as this physical play, again, we talked about it from the start of the game. It's been a physical game. Plenty of contact. Braun did this to you? Yeah, watch the video of when uh, Draymond, like, we, like, kind of, you know, like, wraps What did he do? What was that sound effect? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. Ding, ding. So. <laughs> hit him in, a ting, hit him in our, a ting, ting. I just know all of our yeah. listeners, and every time we do, like, a question thing, and even last week when we said he was coming to Fox Sports Ohio, it's like, we need Kyle Korver. We need the rest of the 2006 team on here. Can you get them? They always love talking about it, and I find it interesting that four years ago, yesterday, was the anniversary when you guys were in a bit of a hole. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> it's so weird. Like you said, it's like four years ago, and I think of something significant, right? Not saying that that's not as significant, but it was like, yeah, I didn't even, truth be told, none of us thought he was going to get suspended. So no. it was like, no. yeah, none really? of us even were like, yeah, no, 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 no. I remember when we got like, hey, there might be some, because if you watch it, you're not thinking, because the Steven Adams thing, you saw the, like, you didn't think that there was, like, that was going to be anything. So, whatever. I think um, NBA was like, okay, we can't let this one slide. You literally, you know what I'm saying? We let some other stuff go. If that had been his first offense, he would have for sure played. And who knows what would have happened. You know what's funny is we talked about this individual last week, and we should really get him on the podcast. Um, but – when the Cavs had Kendrick Perkins on their squad the year before the during, during the Boston series. Um, do you guys remember what happened there with Marcus Smart in 2015? He no. was an enforcer. No, no, no. What do you mean? 
I don't remember. That means you didn't pay. Wait, is that when Richard dunked on somebody and put his nuts on somebody's head, and then it was like a big scuffle? Was that it? That was no. That was the Boston Tea Party. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> what do you mean tea? tea? What is that joke? What is the tea yeah. joke? Richard, get here. Come what? to life, please. I'm here. The, the, what do you mean the tea joke? You know, you said it. It was your joke on an episode flying from Atlanta to Boston. Oh, I, I, Boston no, I, I, no, no, I'm hearing you. I just didn't understand what you were, what you were referencing. Because you said Perkins. Well, you said when Kendrick Perkins was on the team. He wasn't on the well, team then. 2015, but then I wasn't on the team in 2015. Okay, wow. This is a lot. Um, it's from the standpoint of I was I don't understand. in 2015 during the playoffs, that first round. It was Cavs versus Boston. That's when Kevin hurt his shoulder. And um, Marcus Smart and JR got into it. But Channing brought back the fact, oh, was that the same time that Richard Teabag? Oh no, no. That was like that was like a year and something later. I'm saying that 20 that when you were referencing that 2015, <laughs> I was like, wait, I wasn't on the team. Like you were like, you said it. To me, or you said it out there, I'm like, well, is she gonna like, is she asking somebody a question? Because neither of us were on the team then. It was a terrible, terrible place. Okay, yes, I'm sorry. Kendrick Perkins then, but you might need him now. Oh, yeah, we definitely need Perk. Definitely need Wait, Big Perk too. Big Perk and Lurky. Yeah, yeah GC. Oh, <laughs> shit. No uh -oh. way. Are no you way. a Raiders fan? I didn't yeah, make it up the road trip. Yeah, I'm switching over. <laughs> I'm leaving Cowboy Nation. Yeah, I'm going to the race. Shit. How'd you get a big perk on here? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, Richard. Yeah. Right? They're sleeping and Channing's walking four miles with his kids in the forest. I'm working. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're right, Allie. Yeah, <laughs> I, you're know, right. I know Shannon is excited to see me, but RJ is not. <laughs> he is faking right now. What's Perk. up, boy? What's up, Shit? Perk, I have never, I have never been more excited to see anybody. I literally woke up 38 seconds ago. So this is just like a, a burst of energy. Perk, do you uh, still take naps? Daily. I got four kids, man. <laughs> it's no nap time. What? I take naps with my kids, Perk. Oh. I was like, yo, it is family nap time. Everyone lay, lay the fuck down. <laughs> everyone go to sleep you gonna go to sleep and that's how we convince them like look brother's taking a nap that everyone's taking naps you there's still, nobody to play with you you still keeping your nba uh pregame routine huh <laughs> yeah yeah for and, didn't, yeah um didn't you guys tell me last year welcome kendrick perkins perk obviously we are excited to have you here um didn't you tell me when you guys went to france last summer channing that you're in France yeah. and Richard still walks away and goes and takes his naps. <laughs> we're in France two weeks. <laughs> and Richard looks at his watch and is like, hey, yo, we're in the middle of Paris, scooting, right? Scooter gang in the middle of Paris, looking at some of the oldest shit I've ever seen in my life. And Richard goes, hey, yo, uh, I got to take a nap or I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be able to make it till dinner. We're like, what? We're in 10 days. Come on. Uh, Richard, every day, not just a 20 minute nap, right? Listen. If I, I could sleep 20 minutes like this anywhere, Richard takes these two and a half hour, like, I, training camp naps. Like, that's, that's some senior citizen type <laughs> shit, dog. Like, seriously. Okay, you, okay, you perk, perk. But let, 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 let's rewind, like, a half second. <laughs> One, Channing, we were never in fucking Paris together. So that's a fucking lie. So we weren't going anywhere perk. riding scooters. So that's I, a lie. So, like, let's just start off with that statement. That statement is an actual lie. We were right? were we in were we in France together? Yes. Were we in Paris together? No, we were not. So I appreciate you embellishing the story for the sake Wait, of the yes, story. We're, we're in the south yeah. of France. Yeah, yeah, but that's not Paris. But you're like we're Paris. We're scooting around. We're looking at the <laughs> oldest stuff in the world. None of those things. Were I true. said I not was. one of those things was true. We did so. like. We did bike in Provence, so I don't think you did. Yes, yeah, but we weren't looking at anything that's old. It's okay. I love you. A lot of structures that were old. Okay, so let's get to the point that uh, Kendrick is <laughs> your citizen, Richard. No, oh, point, but no, but point is Channing is correct. This is the thing. I wasn't just assaulting Channing. Channing is correct. I will at any point in time stop and take a nap any place. I don't – look, I just enjoy it. It just makes me have that – especially if you're on vacation. If you're on vacation, you should take naps. Uh, I don't know about that, RJ. I mean, I can understand you relaxing, but like when you go on vacation, you you like you gotta turn up. No, <laughs> no, no. Richard's not a day drinker either. Yes, Richard no. day drinks. He won't even make it till dinner. 
<laughs> no, 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 but this is the thing. This is the thing, though. I can day oh, drink sweet. as long as I get a nap. Look, if you if we could go, we go to Vegas. I could drink till four a.m. with you, five a.m. Right, and then as long as I get to sleep, and then I can go day drink for a little bit. But I'm not one of those people that are there at eleven thirty to day drink till eight p.m. That's Channing. That is Channing. <laughs> that is not me. That's not me. It's like yo, I, I'll give you guys three four hours at the pool. I'll give you from I'll give you from four to eight. Then I'll go back, take a nap, get ready to go play some blackjack. That's I me, Perk. I gotta take I wanna, a nap. I want to go so hard at Vegas that when I leave, I don't want to come back for three years. That's right. my goal. Right. I, I'm like, two days, <laughs> I don't want to see you for three years. Like, I don't want to sleep. I don't want to wait. I don't want to do anything. I don't want a sober moment, right? I just want to be there. And it, hey, if the pool closes at 4 and opens at 11, see you at 11.30, and I'll be there till close. I'll be there when the DJ is pulling the cords out. But, but the thing is, who, who the fuck sleeps in Vegas? Like, like I don't even, like, Richard, they, they give you hotel rooms for what? Like, it, it just, it just the story. change clothes and take a dump. And take, right. And take. <laughs> God, you're so gross. It's true. What you got? You can't dump at a public pool now. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I will say this, though. I, look, as long as I get my, like, two-hour nap, like, I can, I can literally probably accomplish anything. But, anything. But, but listen, the sleep doctor that we had in Oklahoma City, right? He said <laughs> he told me that if you take a two hour nap, you're gonna wake up tired. Like your nap shouldn't be no longer than ninety minutes. Yeah, then you go vodka Red Bull, wake yourself back up, <laughs> right? <laughs> Start perking yourself back up, right? Hey, Maybe Richard, a cup Richard of coffee. Is gonna be. I'll drink a cup of. Coffee. I'll drink a cup of coffee at midnight. No problem. No, no problem. problem. Pure He's, adrenaline. Yeah. Besides uh, crushing the internet and uh, the broadcasting game, what's been going on? And doing basketball drills. That's oh, actually... yo, your crossover move, Perk. Your it crossover. Was, is it wet? <laughs> no, that shit was... I fuck, I fuck with it. I, I, love, I love it. Hey, you listen, get your workout in. Hey, listen, let me tell y'all something, though, right? I did, like, fucking five videos while I had my son... <laughs> recording them right and then i would fuck up my handle and fuck up my sham guard and i'm like fuck i gotta start over mine I'm breathing, <laughs> I'm breathing hard as shit because i'm tired and i'm like look we're gonna give it 30 seconds so i'm thinking the whole video was like 45 seconds i'm like okay so when we finished my son was like yeah it's 18 seconds i'm like what i was dead <laughs> fucking tired though but it was I had to get like eight videos and I had to choose the best one. So you don't y'all don't even want to see the other ones. Oh. Like, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, we do. Those are act up. Perk, perk, please send us. Please. Hell no. Wait, wait, send so which one? Video. What was what was this one that you posted? That, that was the best one. That was that was that was the best. Look at it. Oh, 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 that's, ooh. that's a fucking ooh. picture. Of Spice Adams and Kyrie Irving, right there in the middle. <laughs> that's who that is. Spice Adams. That's Kyrie Irving in the Spice Adams body. Oh, your name. Oh, 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 around the back. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. That, that looks like a oh, pre-draft. Oh. That looks like a that looks like a pre-draft workout. <laughs> that looks like a pre-draft. Let, let, let me see if the uh, big man can handle it. Oh my! Phil Handy called me and was like, "I see you send your sons through." you know, his his challenge, right? So I'm like, he like, won't you do it? And I'm like, who you talking to? You know, as a big man, we want to show that shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. But I was like a, a like 85 pounds lighter. Damn, I was <laughs> huge on that video. <laughs> no, you, I actually didn't think so. You've been working out. I have been working out, but I still got a ways to go. Looking at that video, I got discouraged. So after- Wait, started, oh, wait, wait. When, did you, when did you film that video? Yesterday. <laughs> Dude, you're fine. You're good. If you do something a little bit every day, it's gonna come up. Hey, the summer no, has to no, start. No, don't, 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 don't like give him that like like that Tony Robbins encouragement. And so you're fine. Just do something every day. Just do a little bit every day. 
you can have a beach body by November. You can be good. You've been boxing, right? He said you have a beach body by the time the summer's over. <laughs> <laughs> you, have a beach, you have a beach body by December. You're going to be right. You're going to head start on next summer. <laughs> oh, bitch, And I have been boxing, right? I lost, I lost 52 pounds, so imagine. See? There we go, Perk. I was 382 pounds. Damn. I know, right? Yo, you. That, so yeah, look, right. you got Ali speechless. <laughs> Allie's, Allie was like, don't say you, anything. Don't one, lie. one, let me say this. You carry it well, because I would have never guessed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> Two, what did you, what went through your mind when you stepped on the scale? So, so. First of all, <laughs> home scales only go up a certain Height well, too, right? You said you well, found you, a scale that could weigh yourself? Right. <laughs> my my point is, Perk, I have a very good friend who is literally trying to lose weight. And he, he stepped on his home scale the other day and it would not read. He now has to go to a truck stop and get and right. the weighted scales. Yeah. So it yeah, is a real thing. It, it won't go past 350, right? Right. So what ended up, ha end up happening was, was that I was doing... Uh, let me make sure no microphones in here so my wife won't try to set me up. So I, was doing, <laughs> I was doing a life insurance uh thing, right? You know, where they come to your house and yeah, okay, check your blood put, pressure. Yeah, so he put the damn scale on. Mind I tell you, I haven't been on, I haven't weighed myself for about do they six, check your prostate six fucking months? I was like, fuck it. <laughs> the whole, the whole time in the NBA, I was always dieting and worrying about my weight. Never have to worry about it. Yeah. So, so after that, I was like, you know what? I'm eating banana pudding, cookies and cream, ice cream. I'm doing my thing, right? I'm not even realizing that I didn't gain so much weight. The heaviest I ever been in my life was like 320. Ooh, so when damn. I got on the scale, I was like 382. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, <laughs> I gotta be wrong. So then I goes to the boxing gym where he had one of those, those scales that's like, that you find at the doctor's office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of them old school scales. Yeah. And, and and it reached the max limit. And I was like, nah, I'm really heavy. So now I'm actually like 349. But okay, I, Big Perk. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't want to be called Big Perk no more. I want to just be called Perk. So I know. The, 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 huh? What, what, what's but up? It's your height. It's your height, too. It's not just. I think Big, I promise you, I think Big Perk. Because of as before you got on here, I was talking to them about who you were that year you played with the Cavs in 2015. Like enforcer, that guy. That was just strong. I didn't think of you as like a big overweight, oversized individual. Yep. I just thought of you as like But you know but you know what, Allie? I always had that whack body, right? You know the whack body where you can't you know, <laughs> it don't matter like how much you lift weights or run on the trail oh, and you can never get chiseled. Right, I always had the four pack, but the six pack, the bottom row never came in. Like, <laughs> never, you know, we call them whack bodies, like myself, Paul Pierce, like those are Jared guys. Dudley. Yeah, that's whack body. Who? Whack body. Jared Dudley. Yeah, that's whack Jared body. Dudley. Like, they in shape, but we in shape, but we just could never really. Jokic? Hey, get on that Jokic tip. You see how skinny per, per, it happens to all of us. I, I got. I was like probably like 255. And then I did like a weight loss challenge with one of my boys. Like Channing is really fat also. No, uh, I was so fat. I, I hit three. He was. I hit 299 oh, yeah. and I said, yeah. oh no, no, I just ain't good for that pumper. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm like 275. Huh? Yeah, it happens yeah. fast, man. I went from Dude. 230 to 255. Damn. And I was like, you said, I, well, look. You screw it. I'm gonna have chicken parm three times in a 36 hour period. <laughs> I was like, you go have chicken parm for lunch, then you go to another restaurant and have chicken parm, then you go to another like place, and you're like, oh, they got chicken parm. Let me see how theirs compares. And all of a sudden you're like, Did I really eat three chicken parm three of like my last eight meals? Man, the Popeye's spicy chickens <laughs> just came back out. Oh was killing them. You got to. You got to. And the bad part about it is that. I like the main street that turns off to the street to come to my house. They have a Dairy Queen, Ooh. a Sonic, Ooh. a Taco Bell. So just think about it. I'm thinking of a Sonic Blast. I'm thinking of Oreo Cookie Blizzard. Like ice cream, <laughs> ice cream and soda waters are my downfall. 
Yeah. Hey, yeah. Steven, what? Soda waters. Sodas. Like A and W cream sodas. I drink. Oh, that's a yeah. So yeah. good though. Yeah, I know, right? It's her what so yeah. So what are you what are you trying to get down to, big fella? I gotta at least get to two eighty. Two eighty? You let me tell y'all something. You you wanna know what's so disappointing? So the soups that, that Braun had bought for us, right? Uh-huh. Right? The the little uh-huh. short drummer boy suits. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I go and try to like put one on. And I literally could like the pants just didn't fit. I couldn't like, you know how Beyonce said, uh, you know, with a lot of women, if you ain't jumping when you put, put your in, jeans on. <laughs> Right. That, was me, that was you me. were jumping to put your jeans on. You were jumping to. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Perk, I'm with you. I'm with you, Perk. I had a couple of jeans that were like in season jeans and out of season, and my in season jeans have gone to like two. Right? And I'm like, I got to work my way in these. My thighs be rubbing. I'm trying to take. Oh, man, you start to chase. Oh, I just put a uh, imprinted apple bottom on my shit because that's how they. <laughs> Perk, we're gonna get this ask out of the way. So, uh, so as you know, we do a television show. When we when we're doing the television show in LA, you gonna come? You gonna come into studio and crack jokes with us, drink some wine? Hell yeah! Okay, I, listen, man, we just put it out to the viewers. I've the people been know. waiting on the invite, man. What are you talking <laughs> about? I told you this already. I've been waiting on the invite. Well, the, the pro. The, Thanks, Allie, for inviting me up to the. Road trip. Uh, Shannon, Shannon and RJ, my supposed to be brothers, <laughs> never invited me on their Listen phone. to this too, But who just invited you on the TV show? See, Channing ain't done shit. I just invited <laughs> you on the TV show. I'm going to get you some good wine. How about that? All right, cool. I, I, I can roll with that. Listen to this, Perk. I asked you to come on today. Did not tell these two. Richard sends sure. a text at 2.15 and says, I'll see you guys at 3.15. And I was like, <laughs> no, 3 o'clock sharp because I'm I have get... you coming on as a surprise. Richard, for the first 10 minutes before you get on here, barely opened his eyes. I just woke up. I just woke up. I was struggling. I had to do some shit Then I needed a nap. So like we talked about my nap time. I was like, yo, if I could just get an hour, like I'll be all right. And so I was trying to get that 15. So I basically set my alarm for 2.59 and then just oh, set the alarm oh, for 2.59 oh, and then turn it open, open it I'm up. Not I didn't think wife. that you'd been on here because you just didn't want to come on. Well, I would have had you on a long time ago. Perk no, don't I didn't want to come on. I told yeah. RJ that. Yeah. Yeah. Perk, we was going to get you on. First of all, we didn't start doing Zoom podcasts. How many podcasts have we done back as a group? Five. Five. What? Really? We've done five? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've done five? We've done five. When? We did quarantine. We did bronze. Oh yeah, yeah, we yeah, did, yeah, did yeah. Matthew. Yeah. So and so perk in in three and a half months of quarantine, we've done five. You're our fifth yeah, one. Yeah, that, yeah. That's not a lot. That's not. That's a not a lot. No, we no we. It's no, just, we, it, we it don't have the same feel, right? Like when you're in the studio. Yeah. Right. No, it's a, you got to. All right. Well, since perk. you're here, perk, should we dive into the latest? Do you want to stay? Stick around with us. I'm right here. I ain't going nowhere. Perfect. You got um, shit to do. The NBA. I want to get Perk's thoughts first. I know on a national scale, Richard, you work with him on the jump and you've probably heard his take. But I think for our listeners and our, our um, <sighs> in general, one, last week, Channing and I had the same take that we aren't sure necessarily that the NBA will come back. Where is your stance on that? The NBA is coming back. Like It will happen. It will happen. They, I think they're negotiating – about pushing up the date now. Like, it's happening. Don't you think hearing that news today, even though it was by a day, from July 31st to July 30th, still kind of tells you how much is just not set in stone and how fluid things really still are? I mean, yeah, but I just feel like we have the best commissioner in sports and Adam Silva. I feel like um, the owners obviously want the NBA back, but I feel like majority of the players want the NBA back. So, like, that conference call with LeBron and and CP3 and all those other stars that they had, to me, that call was about, no, we want to hoop. I feel like they want to hoop. So, 
I think that the NBA and the Players Association have been doing a great job of, of like, you know, actually talking this out and working together, something that we've really never seen before. Like, have we seen the Players Association and the NBA, like, talk things out the way that they're doing right now and, like, never? Not my no, well, I haven't seen it. No, it's the first they, time. Yeah, like, they're trying to, they're trying to make this happen. Yeah, I've never, I've never, I've never seen the players, the owners, and like, uh, and like the league, right? Because the league is the owners, but it's like there's like the players, the owners, and then like all coming together to figure out how to get something done. That right. ain't no, because normally when those meetings are happening, it's like, well, if you do this, we'll do that, or we want this, so we're, you know, we want that. So it's like you have this normal. This is the first time that everyone's sitting at a table trying to figure out how to get something done together without one side having to make concessions or like, oh, we need BRI or we want this for testing or we want that. No, it's like, how can we get something together? That's the only thing that makes me encouraged about it uh, is that everyone's like on the same side trying to push forward. Let me ask you this question. So okay. the new rule is, remember the old rule was that if a guy gets COVID, he's just quarantined for two weeks and can come back with his team. The new rule, what I'm hearing, is that if you get COVID, that you have to leave the bubble for good. Do you think if any all-star gets COVID on a contending team, that they're going to let him come back? So, so here's the thing, Shannon, right? And we all know this. I, I just want to know who are, who, who, who are the people that's going to be the po policing the people that's supposed to be giving out the tests? Like, just yeah. think about it, right? If Russell Westbrook and James Harden said, oh, I'm not taking that test today, who's going to tell them something? Like, I don't – I just strongly feel like guys are not going to voluntarily come forward and say, okay, it's time for me to take my test. Not unless they feel sick or something to that nature, but if guys are feeling fine, I just, I just, I just think, like, them talking about – you know, testing and the coronavirus is something that they have to put out there for a public statement. Like, oh, but behind closed doors, are they really going to get tested? Like, I think they have to get tested every single day. But no, I understand what they're saying, but is right. that really going to happen? I understand what they're saying they're going to do. <laughs> right. 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 But right. is right. that really going to happen? Like, if, if Braun is walking out the locker room and he don't feel like getting tested, <laughs> he don't feel good. Who's stopping Braun? <laughs> Wait, who's going to stop? Yeah. I, 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 but it's one of those things that if you don't, they might not let you play or there might be something. Like, that's one of those things where it's like, this is not – this is not a moment for that. Like, look, we all have egos. Everyone has professional and personal egos, right? But it's like, understand, like, that's where I, when I've heard some players have a little bit more questions is like, guys, like, understand that if you voluntarily put yourself in this space, understand you're in for the trip, right? Okay. Like, you, there, there is no getting homesick or get, it's like, no. you know, it's like when you enlist into the military, no disrespect to our, our, our troops, but it's like when you enlist in that military, you've signed up for this. Like you've signed up, you've signed a contract, you're going to go and enlist and you're going to do this. And there is no, oh, yeah. I changed my mind, you know, a few months later. So like some of these guys, when they're signing up, yeah, the first like week or two, it'll be good to be around their boys and hanging out. And all of a sudden you start missing your girl, you start missing your kids, you start missing, uh, your bed. you know, your, your, your bed, your, your family. But you, that's one of those I things. I lived we, in Orlando, you don't want that. Hopefully, hopefully all the guys got enough of it over the last like three, four months that they've stored up so that they will be able to be like, all right, I've seen enough of my kids. I can go away. <laughs> Ellie, are we really sitting up here talking about grown men being homesick? That's Channing. Yes. No. Stop like, it. Three and a half month perk. Would you go stay down there for three yes. and a half months? Yes. Yes, yes. because I know yes. one thing that I'm going to be able to play basketball. I know that I'm gonna be able to play Boo Ray a lot. I'm gonna be able to play <laughs> good. So absolutely, I'm all in for it. Oh, what? I'm trying to figure out. I'm, in a try hotel. I'm trying to figure out how to get there now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, the hotel is gonna have probably a pool. You can chill. You're gonna be having a drink. Hey, hold on, if they got a pool, do you wear a shirt at the pool? Who me? <laughs> I, wear, I wear a muscle tee. <laughs> hey. <laughs> 
I got you. I got you. Go ahead and farm a tan. I see it. Uh, no, but some dudes, okay. young guys, I think, listen, my biggest point is the Lakers, Clippers, um, Milwaukee Bucks, you know, Denver's talking a little bit, and Houston are like real contenders. And I know I'm missing a team. And when people say the Raptors, obviously, yes, Boston, okay. And Philly's like a super dark horse. It's like betting on a great horse at the Kentucky Derby, right? Nobody knows that joke, but that's all right. No. Yeah. Uh, that's a good name. Horse has never won the Kentucky Derby. So anyway, sorry. But like those teams can do it because they know like we're going to win it. We have a chance to win a championship. But like Washington, Orlando, like those teams, Phoenix, San Antonio. Well, those teams aren't, but, those, but those teams aren't – like when you talk about the first round teams, maybe – those teams aren't going to be there for three months, right? They it's just like that, you know you, – A month and a half, though. They still have to yes. stay two weeks after. Oh. They're gonna be okay. They're gonna be okay. Let me ask you this. Let me transition. Okay. Aww. We're just spinning in circles around this topic. <laughs> How and in what manner do you feel those that will be in this bubble that are a part of the NBA who have been so outspoken during this time right now for our country? Um, how do you feel that they will make statements? Do you I, think they'll make statements? They will make statements. I think that they will come up with a lot of different ideas. Mm -hmm. I mean, social media is still there, right? Yeah. Like, I can see guys already printing out T-shirts, right, for pregame warm-ups. So I think, like, with them all coming together, they're going to be doing things that are at a stronger level. Like, I could see, you know, a uh, 100 guys getting together and, and and having their own protests in some form or fashion, like coming up with different ways to protest from being in the bubble. Like you you talking about guys of like LeBron and, and Russ and James Harden and Anthony Davis and Giannis, all these guys coming together, them just being on one photo, all having the same t shirt is enough in itself, right? And yeah. on social media. So I, I think like they're gonna they're, they're gonna be creative. And I think, you know, the protest is still going to go on. <clears throat> I think in today's climate, everybody is inundated with pictures of police brutality, of protest, of whether they're good or bad, riots, you know, our president, of people who hate our president. Like, it's very non-sports. And the fact that everybody is going to have hundreds of millions of eyes on the NBA watching as a, one of the biggest sports league in the world, what, you have no bigger platform. Like, mm. you put, when you play in the, the championship game, that's a huge platform. This, within that bubble, is like a gigantic Big Brother series of NBA players. That's what right. they need to do. What they need to do <laughs> is remove all TVs and social media, and yes. then we just set up a bunch of fan cams. So they have no idea what's going on the entire time they're in the bubble. Like oh. Survivor. The, their platform is the biggest right now. Perk, like, I Perk, that. <laughs> Perk, how great would that be? How great would that be? Take away all cell phones. Take away, like, no TV. Just oh. put them in a legitimate, actual biosphere bubble. You know how right? drunk dudes would get? <laughs> they know, but we got cameras in Orlando. This is an actual thought that I had. I actually had to interview Kyle Kuzma yesterday on our show, and I asked him, if the Lakers are in the NBA Finals, they will essentially be there for three months, right? Through mm -hmm. October. Right. What are three things that you will make sure that you have packed with you? And one was a big enough closet. Like, think about the oh, three things say a big Jesus, enough closet. Oh, oh, come on, this one, this, oh, <laughs> Yo, man. Come on, man. That's something tell, like I would have to think about tell, if like, I was look, going man, there as a ex broadcaster. Express, express right. men will keep sending him stuff. He'll be but, fine. Yeah. But, <laughs> you can't. But the end of the day, who are you dressing up for? You. Right? Yeah. So it's not like you're walking into the arena where there's a lot of fans and you got to make a fashion statement. It's just a whole lot of sweatsuits. <laughs> hang, lot on, of hang on, Perk. I actually disagree with that. Because now there are no fans. And so it's all for social media. 
So yes. you already know so they not, have to stunt for that camera. Like you better get some reversible uh, outfits. Listen, this yeah. is white and blue and flip that look. Like that's four outfits right yeah. there. I just just start. I, I, they just I, need to start walking in with just their jersey, AAU style. Old school style, where you had to wear the sweatpants with your jersey underneath. Yeah, the jersey underneath. Or how about just swim trucks, swim swimming trunks and a white beat? <laughs> right? I mean, just I mean because how can you pack for three and a half months? Like, it's no way possible. Thank no. you. I, it's, no, it's no way possible. You could just throw in. So, so if you know, if you know, it's a def, it, it, you're you're going into it and you're going to be defeated. You just got to bring a lot of t-shirts. Lot, like, first of all. There's only, first of all, let's be real. Three and a half months is not that hard because the whistle is what we got to do. You got to imagine to win it, you're going to have like, like 20 games. So you're really going to need like 20 fits, right? Like that's all, 20 different looks. Then you just wear sweatpants and all that. That stuff is easy. In Orlando, all oh, you 20, need is yeah. shorts and a shirt. Yeah. Maybe Bron we don't got to worry about the fur coats. Maybe Braun will fit the Lakers like he did the Cavs. That oh, year. that I would be great. Oh, we got traded that year. So... <laughs> Well, I got my suits still in my closet. <laughs> I can't wait to wear them on TV as soon as I can fit them. <laughs> what were you eating, Big Perk? What were you eating? Seriously, what was your go-to? Because I'll tell you this. I was thinking this yesterday, right? Because I worked out. And I, you know, you have one of those, I worked out, I deserve it m moments. And I was like, yo, I wonder. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Perk? No, that's why Perk laughing. What is an I, I deserve uh, it? Per, per, like? Per's like, fuck this, I deserve it. Well, you know what? So I don't get it often, but when I do, I was like, you know what? You know, it's light. So I go to Jack in the Here? Box. I, I, no, I go to Jack in the Box. I get me two tacos. Mm. Then I get the curly fries. Mm. And I get the Oreo cookie shake. That's just my quick, my quick, I deserve it and push. No, no strawberry soda? No, 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 no. Because I just, I got to concede something. I, I don't want to get everything that I want. Oh. Okay. Right? Because I'm still trying to get to my goal. So it's like, I just get a little taste. So it's like, I get the Oreo cookie, I get the French fries, and I get the tacos. So my my go-to move is the turkey leg hood, right? And it's... The, the what? The, a whole the, turkey. No, it's the turkey leg hood. So it's out here in Houston, Texas. It's like a, a, a famous restaurant. It's basically like a shack, right? But it's like they made like over fifteen million dollars last year, and it's it's a stuffed turkey leg with like crawfish mac and cheese, dirty rice with like this, this uh, Alfredo. I need a picture of this, Perk. I need a picture. We need of a this. picture, Perk. Is this in Houston? Social media. Yes, it's in Houston. So it's like it's like man, it's the best thing popping. And I, how many I, of those I, you get? So I get this thing that's called the Cajun Bowl, right? It's oh, super shit. big. We got the crawfish mac and cheese and the dirty rice with the shrimp Alfredo. But then they throw two pieces of fried catfish on the top. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? For kids are excited. He's like, and then. And yeah. And then they and throw then. just on, as if that wasn't enough. They throw two pieces of fried catfish. Come, and then you okay, get the strawberry okay, so wait, soda. How many times a week do you eat that? So <laughs> since I've been on my diet, right? And I need to no, no, when you were not on your diet, when you're at your peak in your prime. I, I was like Monday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Damn. Ooh. And I would order two because I need one for <laughs> lunch and one for dinner. And the bad part about it is that there's so much on it that you suppose you supposed to be able to like save some. Like a lot of people be able to save it and eat it later, but like I kill mine. Yo, yo. I feel like he's yo, looking for he's gonna find us a picture. You gotta find this picture of this. I just wanna know this though. Wait a second. So you were getting it. Do you live close by? How far is it from your place? No, I live 38 miles away. <laughs> And they do not deliver. So you, were going, so you were going out of your way to be a fat ass. You were yeah. sitting in the car. Yeah. And, and you know what? And, and guess what? Guess what I was topping it off with? No, they sell, no. They sell funnel cakes over there, right? <laughs> with all different types of funnel cakes with ice cream on top. And guess what else? They have these exclusive soda waters, right? I'm talking about like back in the day soda waters, like 
old school strawberry cream sodas that are like $25 soda waters. No luck. And I would load up. You would, per, per, you were driving. So this is the funny thing about people don't know is that if you're driving 38 miles, sometimes you're not hungry until you start the car ride or you could get hungry halfway there. Like you're like you're moving yeah. and you're working towards hunger. Or like I like I, I just don't I'm trying to think of the amount of calories. I know you focus per show it to it. Hold on, let me see if this will work. So I'm gonna start the video over, right? So they showing like different hold on. Oh. Yeah, we can see it. We see it. Is that one plate? No, that's different plates on how they go. So they got like stuffed baked potatoes, but that's the turkey leg like with the Parmesan cheese on it, right? <laughs> Let me find something. Perk, 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 is, Perk is having a, he's having a moment over here. So look, this is how it looks, right? This is the turkey leg. What? Oh, that you looks see? like a full yo. Wait, you get two of those and then you put a funnel cake on top? Yeah, so I get two. I get one for lunch, one for dinner, and then I need the funnel cake for after my first one. <laughs> it, 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 it's a must. It's a must. It's a must. Matter of fact, I took the I took a meal when he was down. We actually did a hoop stream show at the Turkey Leg Hood. Oh my god. It, it opens up at eleven o'clock and they have three hundred people where the line is around the corner. What? No. Yo, per per what's wrong? How my Wait, wait. Do you get for, do you get any for anybody else, or does your family just know not to mess with you? Like you know, Daddy gonna bring. Has anybody eaten your like one that you had for dinner? Like you did that, then you left the house, came back, and somebody had crushed your second one. No, no, no. Because I get everybody with. Because I tell them before I go, I said, "Listen, I'm going to the turkey leg. <laughs> anybody want anything?" They know not to touch my food. I give them the shirt off my back, but not my food. Okay? <laughs> this is what it is. Hold on. I'm about, I'm about to show you the drinks that they have, though, right? He like, said, I'll give sports you the sports shirt sports. off my back, okay, so, but not my food. Since you've been dieting or on this new plan, then how many times a week do you get it? I, uh, once every two weeks. So I've been dieting yeah. for two months. So I do it every Sunday now. You get two? What is not, this thing you're doing? What, my diet? Yeah. No cause to no sugar. Oh. Ugh. It's not that bad. No, it's not. It's not. It's not that bad, Allie. Yeah, but but Perk, do you find that your you stomach drink, shrank? You so when you go to get it when you go to get it Sunday, do you have trouble finishing it? No, I killed it. Zero cause. I killed it. I cause like I be wanting it. First of all, what I why I'm fuck why I fuck up it is that I follow <laughs> them on IG. So I have to go on IG and I see it is like, God damn it. You know. Why are you following them on Instagram, Perk? You gotta stop, you know. Why not? I need to show y'all these drinks that they make. He's really into this. Yeah. <laughs> it comes in this big crown raw bottle, and it's like this big up, like it's it's unique. I'm telling you. Hey, Are you going down to Orlando? No, I'm not. I'm not. We're not allowed to, I don't think. Yes. They said if you're a media, you got to stay the whole time. Yep. Yeah. So I think, that, RJ, did you get a phone call about that? No, they don't really like me, but Perk, I'm on a much lower plane than you, Big Perk. So, like, oh, so like I'm just, I just want to put it out there, ladies and gentlemen, when people – when people are, where are you doing, Richard? I'm like, man, I'm holding down the Instagram live for Sports Center. Big Perk is holding down the inter interviews with the hot takes. So, Perk, you are good. Listen, I got one or two hot takes every six months. You're good for a hot take every month. Every no, month, every day. Perk has something to say every day. I think I'm just good at ruffling the feathers. <laughs> right? Wait, what'd you, Perk, what'd you think about Channing's hot take about MJ? Uh, he was spot on. <laughs> I rolled with him on that, didn't did, did, no, you, you, did, you did. Yeah, you did. yeah. You did. People you know were so what? mad, and then like a week later, everybody starts killing the whole thing. Horace Grant got mad. Pippen was mad at you. No, 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 no. no. Just the MJ, how how the whole thing was perceived and 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 pushed out. 
Perk, how do you Perk, get control? Perk, stop staring at the food, Perk. He's looking for these sodas. <laughs> no, fuck it, I can't it, find it. Yeah, them. yeah, stop, yeah, lock, yeah. He That's just placed the order, good. bet. So, so you, you, real quick, you know what I, you know why I have a problem with people when they Tell talk me, about Perk. the GOAT, right? Like, it's no right or wrong answer there, right? You could debate for years why some people think that Jordan the GOAT, some people think Braun the GOAT. You can... When I'm playing dominoes on my back porch with my great uncles and we drinking Miller Lights, they'll argue me down and say that Kareem is the GOAT, right? But you can't knock somebody because they have a different flavor than you, right? Some right. people like to drink Cokes. Some people like to drink Dr. Pepper. Some people like to drink Pepsi. It is what it is. It's no right or wrong answer there. No. Well, who, well, who, so who is the GOAT then, Perk? I already told you that. It's LBJ. I'm oh, standing. okay. Uh, okay, so if so if so, so if someone doesn't agree with your opinion, what do you think of them? I don't. That's their problem. That's that's their problem. <laughs> that's, 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 their problem. <laughs> that's their problem. That's their problem. That's not my problem. That's like that's like you saying, "Hey, MJ is my goat." Why? I mean, I, I don't. I don't need to. I don't feel the need to argue with you, RJ. Yeah, about, I'm with you because you have valid points. Why MJ your goat? Yeah. Basically, Just like people got mad at me because I said that Kobe Bryant is the most skilled athlete in NBA history. First of all, that was my opinion, okay? Mm -hmm. Which I think he is. Oh, they ripped me to threes. What? What are you looking at? What about Allen Iverson? I was like, what? Like, do people really believe that Allen Iverson was more skilled than Kobe Bryant? Stop it. And then they got mad at me because I put KG at number five on my list. And I was like, do y'all not realize that KG was like Anthony Davis before Anthony Davis? KG's not better than Tim Duncan, though. No, no, no I disagree with you on that. Because if you, KG, because if KG... Now, Perk, was, now, Perk. This, that's not this podcast, Perk. That's not I, I, this podcast, I, I, Perk. Come on now, dog. I'm going to... Come on now, dog. Ali, Shannon, and Richard. I'm going to ask y'all a question, okay? Yes. Oh, let's go there. I take if, my earrings if, out. If Kevin Garnett was, if you replace, if you just switch those guys and put Tim Duncan with Minnesota and Kevin Garnett with the Spurs, how many championships would the Spurs have? Zero. Get the no, 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 no. I think the Spurs would the Spurs, Spurs would probably have maybe maybe two or three. I don't think they would have five. I was gonna say three. What? Yeah. I was gonna say. Look, this is one thing. This is one thing. And and, and look, <laughs> hey, hey. This is this is not a knock on KG's greatness, but that post work, that skill post work that could pass out. Now, now, don't get me wrong. KG had that turnaround, but he was similar to IG, or he was similar to Anthony Davis. You could push him off his spot a little bit. You could be a little bit more physical, and then he could not. And but KG was skilled. Anthony Davis is skilled. They would shoot jumpers. They would do all of this stuff. Tim Duncan was giving you that post up and under hook shot. He was crushing you. You had to go and double team him. KG, as dominant as he was, you didn't really have to go double team him, not on the block. That's not the type of force that he was putting down on you. Tim Duncan and then would obviously with Pop and all the other Hall of Famers that he played with, David Robinson. But that's the reason why David Robinson has two, because David Robinson, my favorite player of all time, could be pushed off his spot. You could be a little bit more physical with him, and then he might start to go to the perimeter. Don't tell me that Tim Duncan and KG are on the same level. What Let's do not do Perk? that. Perk, wake up. Wake up. Oh, my bad. I was taking a nap. What you say, RJ? Yeah. Oh, completely, okay. This is what I, I said. This is what I said. If you go you back, I, I completely will told word you for word what I just said. I heard what you said. I didn't want to hear that shit. I heard what you said. <laughs> yeah, so you didn't want to hear it. That's if, better. You said you didn't want to hear it. What's your answer to your question, Perk? They would have the same amount of championships and probably more. Listen. The, are you the, crediting that, though, to KG, or are you crediting it, though, to what's around KG? Because Tim didn't win all five by himself, either. That's uh, what. That's my point. And Tim arguably had the greatest coach of all time and Greg Popovich. KG was a one-man show in Minnesota. Like, I remember when he was playing against the Lakers, man, he had to do everything. He ran the point guard. He was doing everything. Like, I, I just don't understand that. Like, you put KG in pop system with 
Tony Parker and, and, and Manu and all those pieces around them, they will win five championships. There's no way in hell you're telling me anything. I say three. I say three. <laughs> I say three. Nah, I'm, t- I'm telling you, Tim was different, dog. Tim was different. Channing, you're so adamant. Tim is like one of your favorite individuals. I don't really have to argue. He won like 50 games 20 years straight. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> there's no argument. I think we're saying what if, but the thing is, that's that like that's what we love. I love that Perk argues for his guy. But like if we look at actual facts, Tim Duncan is the greatest power forward of all time. If people forget the lockout year, what he was doing, to every single big man at that time. He and you look at the years it. after that, his consistency. He changed his game as he got older, right? The team went from his team to Tony Parker had his years to Manu when he came off the bench, which was a big thing, right? When him and Manu would play together, I remember and watching. Kawhi. They were different. Yeah, then when Kawhi came, he said, listen, I'm here really. Like, if you notice, their post-up game resembles a lot of Golden States, Right. And I think Steve Kerr took Phil Jackson's system, the triangle, and a lot of what Pop taught, and he put it as small ball, right? Because he has the, the personnel to do that. But Tim Duncan on the post would literally wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm going to just shoot this right-hand hook over you or shoot that, you know, that little claw to the right hand off the glass shot. Oh. Defensively, he was a monster. Offensively, he was a monster. And he accepted his role – as a vet, every Perk ain't season. listening. Perk ain't listening. Perk. Perk ain't listening. Perk. Listen. What's, <laughs> what's the word? <laughs> you, you have- I'm not going to disrespect. I think, I think that their play, and to your point, KG is one of those guys that could do it all. He was dominant, dominant. The only edge that I would give Tim Duncan over KG is because Tim Duncan was such a physical, much, much more physical of a force. I think Listen. that would make, force you to have to go double team. You had to go double team. And I'm talking about against the best, the best big men out there. You would have to go double team him and give him that help. And I just never felt like KG was a double – because KG was a great passer too, right? But he was such a – like, I just don't see that KG forcing double teams like so, that. Perk, in your mind, KG is the best power forward of all time? No, I actually said Tim Duncan is. KG's number two in my Okay, life. okay. That's all, that's all we need. And I, I, I had to because this world is so built on championships, right? Like this is an individual. Put him to the side. Like this is an individual's. Put them to the side and compare them. I'm going to go. Okay. Oh, like, here we go. The accolades are the same. Guys, guys, guys. Not a pissing contest. I know, Shannon. Listen, Shannon, listen. I just said on my list, I got Tim Duncan number one, all right? Look at Ch- Chang, went, Chang, Chang went straight. He went straight looking there. at facts right now. Oh, they, facts. <laughs> I can do it. They, they accolades are, 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 they are very similar. I feel like this. Kevin Garnett was more talented than Tim Duncan because Kevin Garnett could play a point. But I felt Tim Duncan as a specific power, you're – you're like not run the mill, but you're like textbook power forward. Tim Duncan was that guy. But what I'm is sorry. the te- but what is the textbook power forward? Like, like your post up, what, demand a double what, team. Was Carl team. Malone a, so was Carl Malone a textbook power forward? I mean, kind of. He was just a hell no, hell no. He was a Shannon. You said Carl Malone was a textbook power forward. I mean, he's a big power forward. He was unique. I'll say he was unique. How about that? Okay, Charles Barkley was a textbook power forward? No, hell no. We're not talking about Charles Barkley. Okay. Well, I don't think – but that's the thing. I don't think that there's too many things because if you are a part of greatness, if you are a top five player in your position, there's nothing textbook about you. You had to do something or be something about you that was different or unique or special or had never been seen before. You know, even like a guy like, like Zion. Right, we've never seen a guy that size with that type of bounds. Right, so you could say he's built like your textbook power forward, but we ain't seen too many textbooks power forwards that built like that and jump that high. We have never seen anybody like that. Yeah, you know, it's like it's like me, him. Stop it. Um, Speaking of that, how do you think they're uh, gonna do? T Mac. How do you think they're gonna do? For the Pelicans? Yeah, they're gonna be good. They're gonna be the ones to push. 
And listen, you know what? I'm not even about to get into this because <laughs> RJ and I was about to argue about this on the jump. So God, I'm gonna please, it. I love this stuff. Well, well, to me, it's the Pelicans. When I look at the Pelicans, they have a deep roster. They're very talented. They have, uh, you know, they have a closer and a first-time All-Star in Brandon Ingram, who's a bucket. They have another closer who's one of the most underrated point underrated players in the league, and Drew Holiday. True. Zion is twenty and ten, but people don't give Zion credit for his IQ and his winning plays that he makes. I've never seen a, a superstar that plays with that type of energy level. Like, you know, energy, energy, uh, energy level to me is like a is a is a uh, t- is is a skill. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a it's a it's a superhuman trait. Are and we then, talking? Are we talking about the Pelicans like down the road? Or are we talking about this season alone? No, I'm talking, Ellie. I'm talking about right now. You guys. think they're going to get talking, into the playoffs? I'm talking about if it's any team that's going to push Memphis, it's going to be the Pelicans. Do you want to double or nothing? You already lost the last bet. You I, not, it, so I, not so not Portland. Not Jack Portland. Jack, New Orleans have a better team than Portland do. I'm not knocking Dame Dollar and C.J. McCullough. But listen, Lonzo Ball is finally living up to LeVar Ball hype. Drew Holiday No, is- he can never live up to that <laughs> hype. He can never live up to that no, hype. No, no, not- no, RJ. He is, he is finally no. just establishing himself as a legit guy, yes. No, no RJ, he's been, he's been fucking and, and his And his jump shot has been so much improved. So lo- shout out to Lonzo, man. Okay, he's been then, putting that time in. Right, yes. And then you have Brandon Ingram, right, who I said. You got Drew Holiday. You have J.J. Reddick. You have Zion, right? You have Derek, Fav- Derek Favors, who is – Okay, uh, underrated pickup. Yeah, underrated pickup. Very underrated. And then you go to their bench. You got you got Hart. You what? Okay, one. You got Hart. Um, and, and that's all you. That's all you really need. And that's all who, do you, you, who do you think who, the Lakers want to see in the eight seed? Not Portland. Not, not Portland. Portland. Nobody wants to see Portland. Not Portland. D- Dame start. Dame start shooting from. From half court, and like nobody wants that. Nobody wants those problems. Do you? Do you understand? Uh, a healthy Nurk and Whiteside. So you have two legit seven footers that are Zach Collins. Collins. Yeah, Zach Collins. Good, going against the Bell McGee and the White Howard, two other legit seven footers. Yeah, along with Anthony Davis. Let's and do you know what LeBron James is going to do to? And I'll do the respect to Carmelo, but he, he's going to be daddy ball. What I do <laughs> is out there in the driveway. He is going to demoralize Carmelo if they try to put uh, Carmelo Anthony on the board. Carmelo said it. he might not go. <laughs> well, there you go. Count him out. Is it because he? Is it because his reward would be the one seed? Yeah. Oh my God. He's like, hold on. We got to win all these games just to play the Lakers. So I got to guard Braun. Oh no, we go. Cool. I, I just feel like the Lakers, like, were hitting a stride, though, right? Yeah. Do you like, not they, think that they can get back to where they were? I believe so. Oh, okay. Yeah. I believe yeah. so. Like, Do you think I, that I, I, favors a veteran ball club or the younger? The veterans. The veterans, for sure. Really? Yeah, because much needed rest. We say what happened when Braun got – But, but, to, that point, but to that point, your guy, Braun, will say that this rest is – Counterproductive for him. Allie. Yeah, we don't pay attention to him. He's just lying. He's lying. He all lying. All nobody on this leaves. Nobody all, believes that. All four of us on this Zoom knows LeBron James very well. We know that he likes to play that psychological. <laughs> we know damn well that he would sit Don't back. tell me I'm the one that falls for it. Yes. Who yes. 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 Yeah, I'm not buying that. He, he no says better. that shit, and you, you says that as he does work out. He sends workout videos in his tidy whities every day, <laughs> right? Showing everybody with, like, you know, it's like, all right, dog, we get it. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But this is gonna be difficult because I've just had to just train solo and be like a genetic specimen in the lab. Do what I would have did anyways. Yeah, it's like you know, I gotta go versa off, climber. You know. I've only I, I've done Versa climbers at four thirty in the morning while watching clips. Y'all are just of being haters right Larry now. Larry Bird. Y'all videos. are just being haters right now. I've been watching so. like old 
old Larry Bird videos while on the Versa Climber at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> I'm going to give you three minutes to get everything off your chest. Is there anything left that you guys want to say? Perk, you got a hot take? Perk, man, Perk. It's, I'm, you know what? I'm going to say this, man. Can you all give me I was a little, I was a little tired. I don't care about Perk. I was tired when I, when I woke up from a nap because, you know, I got to get my nap. But when you popped in, man, shout out to Allie and you for showing up. Channing, you didn't bring shit to the table. But, yeah, you, have, you definitely helped wake me up. You definitely helped wake me up. I appreciate that, Bert. I fucking made road tripping. I'm on. <laughs> I'm on. I can't wait to tweet about this shit tonight. I'm on. <laughs> hey, nobody can tell me nothing. This, I got a question for, for, for y'all three, right? So I was thinking about this. Give me y'all dark horse contender, like a, a team that y'all would think that could surprise and actually win this championship this year in Orlando. Toronto. Like outside the favorites. Toronto. Denver. Oh, Denver? Hell no. Denver. If Portland, if Portland wasn't the eighth seed, or if they weren't fighting for the eighth seed, I but like that that would be the good dark horse. I would have to say Boston. Ooh. I think Boston, they got so many like younger, all of their guys are younger, kind of in shape. Have you doesn't seen take what longer. Boston plays Toronto? Yeah, yeah, but this is a different element. This is a different situation. But yes, don't get me wrong. I, I like Toronto, but I don't think Toronto is a dark horse necessarily. Hey, they're, they're, the they're, they're not a dark horse. Yeah. So it's like they can make it to the conference finals easily. And they got a lot of bodies. I'm not saying it'll be able to stop. They got a lot of bodies to throw at Giannis and throw is- some of those perimeter guys. We seen Harden. He's hella skinny. Why does nobody believe in Houston? I believe in Houston, but they're not a, <laughs> but, they're not a but they're not a dark horse. Like we, they they championship a bust. So yeah, I'm with you, Shannon. Uh, I love Toronto, but Toronto is not a dark horse. Like we was, we yeah, had, I, I wouldn't count them as a dark horse. Now, yes. Yes. yes, I think I yes dark horse. But Allen, let me tell you why I disagree with you. But I like your pick. This is why I feel like Denver has a good team, right? They play great team ball. They got, like, great scores. And, you know, they have a young star in Jokic who's 22. Now has a four pack. Right. But I don't believe that Jokic is an actual Batman. I believe he's a Robin, right? I don't think he's reached that superstar stardom like a LeBron, an Anthony Davis, a, a James Harden, a Steph Curry. like. I feel like he's a Batman, like he's a second option guy. And then, okay, if you do make Jokic your Batman, who is your Robin? I don't feel. It, has, like it, it has to be. It has to be. Jamal it has to be Jamal Murray. Yeah, and I don't you know, believe he is. Yeah. And Not so fair. we don't have that confidence in Jamal. Not, I have the he's still young. He's still younger. Like again, they were they were up three two to go to the conference finals. They were up three two. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So they were one game away from going to the conference finals last year. Right. I just feel like I don't know, like, if Murray is that guy that could average 35 points in a series. Like, that's what I'm talking about, like, levels. Batman, like, yeah. Like, a 20-pointer, 20 22 points, like, that's not cutting it. But I can't believe I'm agreeing with RJ and I'm not being a homer here. But I do have the Celtics because the Celtics are really good. Like, they're deep. And when they go to a small – And they're deep in a lot of perimeter positions. Yes. But when they go to that small lineup with Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, Gordon Haywood, and Kimball Walker, first of all, Kimball Walker needed this time to get healthy because at the start of the season, he was playing phenomenal basketball, and then he started dealing with a knee injury. Jason Tatum is becoming a superstar right in front of our eyes. Jalen Brown, to me, is – one of one of the best two-way players in the game today, Marcus Smart. We know what he brings to the table, and then Gordon Haywood. Like, they, yeah. And then you know what? You know what? I went to that game when they played the Rockets, and I sat on the sideline and I watched those guys. Jason Tatum is legit, like six ten. Jalen Brown, <laughs> like six eight. Gordon Haywood is six seven. So it's not like these guys are small, and they all rebound at a high level. I yeah, I, the yeah. Finals, but just to let you know, if it was Denver and the Celtics, Denver two one this year. <laughs> she said that. I don't something. think it's going to be the finals, but I'm just saying. I I'm just a fan of Denver because I like that their youth. They have their youth. But my point here is, you have to play for three months. 
you but this is the thing but this is the, like, I, I can't, one it's I, I, it's funny hearing you say youth uh secondly um one of their very very life. big advantages for denver is playing at that elevation during so the post it's flattened. It, it is there is no that that so that they are playing on for them level playing field is not good right that's why it was so important for them to have home court advantage last year which they did that's why it was so devastating when they lost that game i believe they lost game seven on their home floor yes they did. Game seven, yeah they lost game seven on their home floor so it was like that's one of those things that, like, if you lose game seven on your home floor in elevation where, like, you already have – like, you're starting the game plus five. You're starting every game plus five because of that elevation. Because your energy, your adrenaline, like, you're, it's just you, – you know, that's just home. And so I just don't think that on a level playing field that you take that element of, of advantage away from them that, they, that they'll be able to pull it off. Okay, I'll give you that. All right. Sorry. It's great to see you guys. Perk, so you're going to come on, but we got to get you in you studio. You have to understand and remember that Perk has been in our studios. He was just not on our podcast. He was on Inside the Green Room's podcast, but in oh. our studios. Oh, 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 yeah. So well, I, we appreciate, we appreciate Danny keeping it warm for us. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Danny. They've been. Awesome. Danny G. We got to get Danny Green on too. Yeah. We'll do a little so, cross Perk, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Last minute dropping in. Perky Larry. Thank you, Perk. You're a, You're a legend, Perk. I'm thinking about going working out, working out. <laughs> go work out, Perk. No, you want to drive that 38 minutes. You want to drive Perk, that 38 Perk. minutes. If you go drive that 38 minutes, go get yourself an hour workout. <laughs> what about 30 minutes? Why, why an hour? <laughs> that is true. Because you got to work off a damn ostrich leg. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> You guys are amazing. See Whatever. how many calories the turkey leg is. That, there is no, there is no, that like, he, that is a 5,000 calorie meal. Perk, you're That's wonderful. Me. Remember to our listeners, our followers, follow us at Road Trip and Pod on Twitter. Of course, Instagram, it's Road Trip and, and then YouTube. All right. All right. Peace. That's Road Trip. See you, Perk. See y'all later. Thanks for having me. Thank you.